The greatest work. Spiritual food. John 14, 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Love one another. I want to bring to your understanding a very important aspect of the gospel that, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. He has come. When the question was asked in heaven, Who shall come and save the world? Both heaven and the earth were in total silence. No angel or man responded, but our Lord Jesus Christ lifted up His hand as the only volunteer. He was told of the consequence of the service, but He accepted to come for the sake of His brethren. Can you imagine a sacrifice greater than that? There is no aspect of the Word of God which is a lie. There is something greater. He was nailed on the cross, spat upon, slapped on the face, beaten with the cane, and meted with all kinds of treatments but he said that there was something greater. Did you hitherto know or believed it? Since he accomplished his assignment and died, have you not seen the situation of the world? As you are trying to raise your head thinking you have money, children, or have practiced the word of God, if you were to practice the gospel, would you have lacked peace or would the world have been in this deplorable state? See Revelation 5, 1-14. And I saw in the right hand of him and sat on the throne, a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book, and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. This excerpt reveals the work which is greater. What is that book which none in heaven or in earth was able to open and read therein? John 15, 9-15 As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, these things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. 
Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. This commandment about loving one another as he loved you, have seen anyone who has complied? Have you seen anybody who heard or read the gospel and put same into practice? The book, which is referred to in the above reference, is the injunctions of our Lord Jesus Christ that we should love one another as He had loved us. All churches in Rome, Israel, Africa, America, and indeed the entire world are calling on our Lord Jesus Christ, but has any put His teaching into practice? Love is what we mean, and it covers speaking the truth, being humble, meek, refraining from fornication, idolism, stealing, not bearing malice or telling lies. Have you seen anyone who has complied? That is why it is said in John 12, 45-50, 45, And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say, and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. In the entire world, no one has practiced the word of God. This is the source of the problem that is afflicting the world. Even the Roman Catholic is not prepared to use the Bible, and no church or person seeks the word of God, but every time they continue to call on Jesus pretentiously. They continue neck deep in committing sins, and do you not know that anyone who commits sin abides in death? Practicing this word of Christ is that which is greater, and indeed, it is not easy to accomplish. Even if you have a whole house filled with money, it does not avail you any usefulness. Even if you beget children that can fill the world, or you build houses to fill many cities, or buy cars and even airplanes without love, it avails you nothing. Love is the greatest, and that book that was unable to be opened was named Love. The opening of this book was the practicalization of love, which the Holy Spirit has come to demonstrate. And with him now practicing this love, has the way not been opened and man liberated? That is why the inhabitants of the world are supposed to wake up in joy for this great feat that has been accomplished. There is no man nor angel that can practice the word of God, and no one can boast of being able to practice a single aspect of the word of God. If any man says he is able to practice the gospel of Christ, bring him to me. Now you are scrambling for positions. You want to be a bishop, archbishop, chairman, president, or you want to be given money and ocean-going steamers. You ask why one person is richer than you. What have you done to merit all these you request? Moses gave the commandments that you should not kill, commit adultery, or bear false witness against anybody and if you commit them, you are not saved. When Christ came, He charged that we should love one another as He has loved us, and anyone without love is good for nothing. If you do not love, you abide in death forever. Anybody who does not have love has no say in this kingdom of God and is ruled by death. One who could open the book and read was required, and today, that book has been opened, and all of you now have got the free access into the kingdom. It was from one man opening the book that the people fell on the ground in joy to praise him. In your case, you are in contest and do not want to submit to him. Hitherto, did you have this knowledge? Even if you come here and receive power to go and operate, say at Lagos, without this love you are nowhere. Only those who abide in love are at liberty. The entire humanity is now free to rejoice in this kingdom because Christ has overcome everything for us and so all are free to practice this love. Death, sickness, or poverty has no power over you, nothing whatsoever, because Christ is in control. 
Thus, there is one flock under the control of one shepherd, and he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Revelation 22, 1 and 2. Everything is embedded here. How to eat, how to live, how to do one thing or the other are spelt out here. And now you know that whatsoever manner of sin you commit, you are bound to die. You now know that fornication, lies, enmity, or hatred are all sinful, and when you abhor these sins, you will be destroyed. Nothing at all will be able to harm you. There is one flock under the control of one shepherd. Do not differentiate between black and white. All those who are here and those yet to come are under this one love. You have to die any time you commit sin because you will be under death. But here in this kingdom, you are not under death. With this very love in existence, you are now omnipresent, having power over men and angels. Those who have ears, let them hear. May my peace and blessing abide with the entire universe, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu Compiled by George Morales